All right, so we're curious, what is the true operating radius that the Baku mule or a similar bike is gonna give the backcountry hunter? Today we're up here about 5,000 to 5,500 feet in some high desert terrain. We're gonna use Onyx as well as the Baku system itself to monitor our tracking for overall distance. If you had your trail slope on for Onyx, what you're gonna see for color in this range here is gonna be green, yellow, and a little bit of orange as well. We got this thing loaded down with 40 pounds currently, 25 pounds on my back, that's 65 pounds of cargo. We're gonna ride this on level three for the assist. I'm gonna use it with the intent of trying to get as far as I can, so I'm gonna use the throttle uh, very sparingly, and we're gonna see just how far this bike's gonna get us. Seven miles, I'm at 58% uh, charge. Dang. This thing can go a long ways. I mean, granted, we're not climbing the whole time, like it's seven ups, or three and a half up, three and a half down, right? Yeah. But still. take a breather and grab something to drink and your legs are perfectly fine for starting out walking you know but at the same time you're still you're still sweaty I tell you what once we hit those more technical trails the e-bikes seemed a lot less cool that's what that's what I think is trail dependent it truly is a game changer it'll get you plenty far and it'll get you out but if there's if the trails you know too technical then maybe question your route because it becomes work in a, in a different fashion but if the trail suits these things are awesome so you're losing significant power What's your percentage now? Twelve. Twelve? So it yeah. drops quick then. Yeah. Gotcha. Still, very, still very impressive. Yeah, but if you're at if you're at uh, fifty percent, do you feel like that's half your battery life, or would you turn around closer to sixty? Have you been going uphill and your return is downhill? I think it's all situation dependent. If it were truly flat, yeah. I'm gonna think about that 50% charge as my halfway point. Okay. Just because I'm gonna use that 10% between 60 and 50 to get a little deeper. And at least I made it. And then I'll just pedal out if I had to. I mean, you know, is the trail solid? Is the trail sandy? There's a lot of variables in there. All right, well, that's a wrap. We loaded the bike what we thought was a weight comparable to say a standard guy or gals, you know, multi-day type trip in the realm of like seven to 10 days even. Uh, we put it through the paces from anything of uh, significant sand, you know, ascents, descents, a lot of rock. I mean, I think it was a pretty good uh, mixture of terrain. I'll go ahead and show you my Onyx. Now the bike did register at 12.2 miles uh, distance traveled, but my Onyx here is it showing us at 12.3 miles overall travel, two hours, 40 minutes. We climbed 1,300 and so feet and uh, we dropped just about the same. The bike did extremely well. I think we were pretty diligent in the first half of the test. I mean, I was pedaling, uh, you know, with the mindset of, you know, I want to get as far as I possibly can. 
And when this system started to show that it was gonna go for many, many hours, especially when we hit 50% on, uh, on the charge for the battery, we got a little bit less disciplined and we used uh, the throttle freely, uh, <laughs> really for enjoyment. But bottom line, I will say that when you hit about 25% on available battery, it does decline very rapidly and your power available is noticeably less than when it's at you know a charge of 50% or greater. So something to keep in mind, when you hit 60 to 50%, you wanna start thinking that maybe that's your midway point. Additionally, we did end the test at a 12% battery charge. Uh, there was almost no power available. I mean, you could go for many, many more miles, but it's gonna be more human driven than you know motor driven. Um, so keep that in mind. You're not gonna be able to run these things to 0% and have the same power available throughout the entire battery charge. So it's something to consider. But if you're in an environment, if you're gonna operate in a region where you got good trail networks that permit e-bikes, your operating radius with this Baku Mule or a similar bike is really um, you know, almost limitless, especially if you have a char uh, charging mechanism when you reach your destination. Um, so <laughs> truly a game changer, uh, surprisingly so. Carries a lot of weight. You really don't notice the weight too much until you get jammed up on a single track, um, you know, whether that's operator air. Uh, then you realize that you do have 115 pounds of bike and cargo in your hands can be a little unruly. I think you will get better with skill over time. I mean, we just hopped on this like anybody else would and said, let's go ride it. But I think that's a good representation of what the bike will do for most people. Anyhow, if you found this video helpful, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, check us out at gearful.com. You can find these Baku bikes there. We're big believers. You can also ask us questions through the website via the contact page. We'll help you out any way we can. And thanks for watching.